Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket, and today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer photos and videos from your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, from any Samsung Galaxy smartphone, into your Windows computer. So this is one of the easiest and fastest methods. I get questions about this all the time, and I'm not sure why exactly people are not aware of this. So here's my Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Real quick, I'm gonna go to my gallery. I'm gonna show you something real quick before I show the transfer process. So when you go to your gallery, obviously all your photos show up right here. At the bottom, when you tap on albums, you also have an album view, which breaks things down into albums that you have created or the phone itself has created. Now, let's do the transfer. So here's my computer right here, okay? Everybody's gonna have a different computer. This is just mine. But all you need for this process is a USB Type-C cable. One end of this cable is gonna connect to your phone and the other end simply connects into a port on your computer, okay? I have a USB-C port right here, so I'm gonna connect this end of the cable into the USB-C port. Uh, if you have a uh, port that looks like this, that's not a problem, that's a USB-A type, so you can also have that cable so one end of the cable simply goes into your computer and the other end is gonna go into the bottom of the phone. Now, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Once you uh, establish this wired connection for the very first time, okay, it might take a couple seconds uh, for your phone to be recognized by your computer. So just give it a couple minutes and make sure if this thing pops up, allow access to phone data just make sure you allow this, okay? This is gonna make sure all your files actually pop up in the computer. And in the computer, you might end up seeing a message that looks like this, which is a good sign. It says, device is ready. So this is an S21 Ultra. The computer knows that, it recognizes that, and then it says it is ready to go. The next step is simply to go into your file explorer. So you go to your file explorer and on the site somewhere, what you are gonna see is you're gonna see uh, the S21 Ultra. As you can see, it is right here. Okay, it's gonna appear under this PC somewhere. If you click on this, it's also gonna show up here somewhere. You can see it's gonna be right here. So once you click this guy, you're gonna see this folder. This is the entire storage of your Samsung, okay? Of your phone. So you go inside. And then what you wanna look for is you want to look for the DCIM folder. That's the folder that's gonna have all your photos and your videos. Now, when I go inside this folder, I want you guys to see that it's broken down by a bunch of subfolders. These subfolders are the same folders that are gonna be in your albums, okay? It's gonna be these plus other automatically created folders. So for example, over here, I have a cars folder, which has a bunch of car photos inside it. Now that same folder is gonna appear under the DCIM folder right over here. So I can transfer folders individually from the uh, phone to my computer. So let me show you that real quick. So if I wanna just transfer an individual folder, I just grab this, drag and drop, that's it. See what it says? It says copy to desktop. You just bump, dump it and it's gonna uh, do the copying and now it is right here. I can access all my photos that are normally in my, um, uh, in my phone on my computer. Now, what if you just wanted to back up the entire photos and videos uh, on your phone into the, uh, into the computer? So again, you navigate to the S21 and like I said, you simply go into the internal storage and you just copy this entire folder, DCIM folder, copy. And you just bring it over here on your desktop or whatever folder you wanna save it in and you just say paste, okay? That's gonna copy the entire contents. Now, in my case, there's a lot of them. So you can see it's gonna say calculating the time required to copy the files. So it might take a little while, if you have a lot of photos and a lot of videos, it is going to take time, okay? All right, so after 15 minutes of transfer, the DCIM folder is now on my desktop. And if I were to go inside this guy, if I double click this, 
all my photos, all my videos are now on my desktop. This is great to transfer files and also back them up to your PC. All right, you're done. That's simply how easy it is. And now you can come back to your phone and let me just log in here and you can in fact unplug it. Alrighty. Now all your photos have been transferred. All your videos have been transferred. If you want to free up some space on your Samsung phone, you can go inside and you can delete some files because now you have everything backed up onto your computer. Fantastic. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.